the fact that you're able to leverage microgravity is extremely important, right? Hi, I'm Pavel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a biotech professional. I have a huge passion for space. And on this channel, I like to talk about the intersection between space and what it allows us to do with respect to life science research and just overall um, ability to leverage space and microgravity conditions to address some of the challenges here on Earth. So in this video, I'd like to talk about a recent Axiom space mission, AX2, and some of the research that has been conducted by those private astronauts uh, on board International Space Station just a few weeks ago. Axiom 2 crew essentially brought to the space station a number of uh, cancer organoids, which are essentially clumps of cells that uh, can uh, mimic larger organs. If you grow them in sort of cell culture conditions, you can allow them to grow, and in microgravity in particular, because um, you now no longer have uh, gravity, those organoids can grow faster, can grow to bigger sizes, they're not gonna sediment, and you are able to mimic uh, those conditions that happen inside our organs uh, a little bit more. So in the case of the research that has been conducted by those private astronauts, it's actually a continuation of the research that was already previously conducted by the first Axiom mission. And in this case, they brought in triple negative breast cancer cells and cell organoids um, to the International Space Station and were dosing them with uh, different cancer drugs. And this is all in the effort to better understand how microgravity, first of all, can be uh, leveraged to study uh, something like cancer, but also have a better understanding of this sort of entire research platform of microgravity, as well as conducting experiments in space, doing this sort of stem cell research and cancer research. Now, in addition, again, the fact that you're able to leverage microgravity and see those uh, cells grow as organoids to larger and better, uh, have a better shape is extremely important, right? We want to better understand how, how cancer evolves and you really need much better cellular models to do that. So overall, this is a great example of how microgravity allows us to better study the various drugs that may be on the market or candidate drugs, how they really behave in those closer uh, to, to our body conditions, if you will. And overall, it's a, it's a fantastic example of private astronauts conducting uh, research, medical research in microgravity in low Earth orbit. So I'm super excited about the upcoming Axiom 3 mission, which I think right now is scheduled for later this year. And I'm also gonna be talking about other research that has been conducted by Axiom crew uh, in upcoming videos. I also have a number of other uh, uh, short videos that you might want to check out. Um, I'm a big fan of, of uh, SpaceX and uh, all the news associated with their Starship program. So check them out when you have a chance. And uh, as I mentioned, I'm a big biotech fan. I'm a, I've been a professional in biotech industry for several years. I hope a lot of uh, up and coming STEM graduates are going to consider joining biotech. And in particular, start thinking about joining space biotech. It's very early stages. However, there's a lot of need for engineers, for scientists to uh, create better tools and better platforms for not only doing research in, in uh, space, but also start thinking about what can be manufactured in space going forward. There's a lot of cool developments in this area, so I look forward to keeping you up to date with all of those. So thank you for very much for joining me today. I look forward to uh, speaking with you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.